Hey guys, Steven Ark here, back another video, and today we're doing a review on the NECA Planet of the Apes Soul Drake figure. Now, in case you haven't noticed, yes, uh, and yes, this is a new setup. I am now using this to do all my reviews. I decided that before my birthday, uh, since my birthday is coming up and we're getting new figures, uh, it'd be cool if uh, I could create a new setup because I feel like the desk setup, uh, I don't want to say it's lazy, but I think it's overdue. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's outlived its days. So I wanted to create an actual set that I would use for like a short battle or a fan film or uh, anything really um, to now do my reviews. Uh, I might change up the background some a little bit, but ideally it's not going to be on a desk anymore unless I, it's really necessary. Uh, but in this case, we're reviewing one of the two figures I got for my birthday. Other than the stuff it was like that, it was kind of a, uh, <clears throat> Apple gift card, stuff like that. So let's get into it. So uh, let's start out with the uh, detail. The detail, in my opinion, I want to say this first because it is my favorite thing about this figure. The detail is the best, uh, not because of the costume the figure is wearing, uh, rather the facial detail. Uh, it marks the exact kind of expressions the apes would make in the actual original movies. By the way, this is a figure from the original movies. It isn't uh, the newer Planet of the Apes movies. Uh, because I don't believe they make NECAs of those, I'm not exactly quite sure. But ideally, the detail on this, in my opinion, is one of my favorites. Uh, it has a lot, the head sculpt, like I said, is amazing. You can see the detail made with the hair stretching down, and the nose, and the mouth, and the eyes, and kind of like the, I guess you could say the lines made throughout the cheeks and all that. It really is incredible. Uh, I guess you could say from the suit it's wearing, it has, it's, it's, Besides, like, what I like about it is that it makes it look, like, worn, and, like, you see how it has ripples and all that. That makes it a little bit above average, but what really stands out is the head sculpt. But overall, I think everybody, everything else on the detail of the figure is pretty neat, but head sculpt is one of my favorites. Uh, so the next thing we have to say about this figure is pretty much the paint job, which is the second thing I like about this figure. Uh, I'd say that it's pretty much a little bit above average. Uh, very slightly above average, mainly because there isn't really nothing that really stands out. Uh, but I do like how there there isn't any paint scuffs, which is a good thing. There's no paint markings or anything, uh, even on the tips of shoes and on the tips of gloves. Uh, I do like the purple shading. Of course, the pants and parts of the sleeves are purple, uh, which does stand out from its original color design. Uh, same goes for like the black parts of the suit, like around here and the vest. Uh, and of course the paint job around the face is expected to be, of course, like a blackish color. Uh, I guess you could say it's a light black color. It really depends, uh, on the light, of course, as well. But, uh, in, in actual person, it looks, it's darker than it is right now on camera. Um, but yeah, and then of course you have this brown, uh, thing that goes around the vest. Uh, you get these purple-like pants, uh, that are pretty good. And these black color belts, uh, that are also pretty good. Um, but yeah, I really think this is a pretty good figure uh, in terms of paint job. Uh, it's not, doesn't really have any issues and it's slightly above average. So let's get on to the next thing. The next thing is articulation and you'd be surprised by my answer here that it's not in the top pro because in my opinion, it too is also slightly above average with the details coming up as the best thing. Why, even though it's NECA? It's because this figure doesn't really have the best articulation, actually. Uh, it's pretty generic for a NECA figure. There isn't any parts that really... There's always ne there's always parts of a NECA figure that have articulation that tend to, I guess, baffle you in a way. Like, oh my god, this moves. This is so small, but it moves. This is just like your generic articulated NECA. It doesn't really stand out in any way. The only part that actually feels comfortable moving is the head. Uh, despite the fact that you can't make it really go 360, it would take a lot of power and I don't really want to break it. Uh, but for the span that it can move, it is it does move quite easily. Um, you can move it up, you can move it down, you can move it to the sides. Uh, the arms are pretty generic. Uh, you know, can move that up and down, straighten that. Uh, they are as really slightly stiff. Uh, um, and then the legs, you can't really also make them go out. You can make them spread out like this, but not really forward. Uh, and anything else is kind of like, I guess, not really that in impressive. Uh, the hands move uh, around like that to the sides. And then, of course, the actual waist, you can move down to the sides or wherever. So it's pretty generic for a NECA figure. Uh, and even some parts, the reason why I say it's slightly above average, too, is because not just, it's not, you don't expect everything from it. It also, uh, it doesn't seem to always be perfectly moving in good shape. They tend to be stiff. And that's a thing with new NECA figures. So maybe I should give it a while before it's like, you know, it can move easily. 
So uh, let's get to the cons of this figure. I really only have one big con. It's not a nitpick. It's not medium sized con. It's just one big con. And there aren't really any any other issues I have with it. There is one other nitpick I'll have that I'll say later, but it really is a small nitpick. Uh, so yeah, my major con with this that takes, in my opinion, like a whole point away is the gun. Now you might think the position it's in now, the gun is nicely fit on, it looks kind of normal. This is like one of the only positions where it actually looks normal on the figure. The gun, I don't want to say it isn't size accurate, but the problem is it's size accurate to the point where you can't use it to make it seem like it fits with the figure, you know what I mean? Uh, you can't move it in this position or else it looks like it's kind of like raising to the sides and the guns, the butt of the gun is too close to the head. Uh, and then you can't, I mean, I don't know, you can't, if you have it on your back like this, which some of the figures have, it's just gonna straightly go forward with uh, uh, with a magazine hitting the back of the head. It's just, in my opinion, the gun really is just not well made for this kind of a figure. I don't know if it had to do with the size, but just the material, I don't know, the material or whatever it is, it does not work accurately with this figure in any sense, not even holding it. You can only do a few positions that look like you can hold the gun properly. Uh, I don't think a giant rifle like this deserves to be held in one hand. Uh, it's, you know, uh, like this. I don't think that's really the right way. So what I tend to do is move it, shift it to the side, have this hand come out and kind of like grab it uh, like this, and then maybe like move the head like that. That's the only position, even that doesn't look that normal. And my, or maybe from the sides it looks a little bit better, but I seriously don't think that there's a lot of good positions you can do with this gun, nor make it fit on the figure once you don't want it in like a position where it's holding the gun. Uh, if you were to say, because this does move actually, this, uh, this belt thing around the vest, uh, you could say fit it in there, but that also doesn't really look that normal. So there's a lot of things that this figure comes with that I'm afraid don't work with this figure at all. One of them is this. Um, and unfortunately it takes away, um, from a lot of the issues, uh, you know, it takes away from a lot of the good parts about this figure and makes it one big issue. Um, so yeah, honestly, this is the one nitpick on I had, and you can critique me on this. This is just me being really, really nitpicky, but the legs are way too skinny. I mean, if you look at that, it, it should be a tiny bit thicker. It looks normal from this, from the front view, but from the sides, it kind of looks a little bit skinny. So same goes for the waist. But I guess that's just me being me. I guess you just need to kind of slightly more thicker. Uh, it also comes with a hand accessory right here where it's holding a bat because they used to hold or a smaller bat. I don't even know what it is actually. It's probably a bat, uh, but definitely not the one you'd expect for it to look like. So this is the really only accessory it comes with besides the gun. Uh, I think you switch it out with this hand like that. I actually haven't switched out yet because uh, I actually like it in the position it's in now. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and then we'll get on to the next thing about this figure. Uh, so this is also a comparison between the Mego Soul Drape figure and the NECA Soul Drape figure. This, in my opinion, compared to this, you can obviously see there's a height difference. Uh, and in my opinion, there's clearly a facial difference. The detail on this is certainly not as good as this. Um, those are the real only differences. Uh, the articulation is Mego is kind of similar to kind of Bandai articulation. You can move the hands, head, knees, and that's pretty much it. Uh, with this of NECA, it's a different deal, however. Uh, but yeah. So now that that's out of the picture, uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, this figure in general, I would rate an 8.8 out of 10. Uh, it is a very, very good NECA. And in my opinion, if you're into Planet of the Apes, and in general, if you maybe have heard of it and you want to get into it or whatever it is, I highly recommend this figure. Uh, it being the first non-NECA, non-Godzilla NECA figure I have, it's a great start. Um, I have to check if they, I'm sure they have more NECAs of different characters from the series, but this in general is just a, certainly a good one. Uh, although it is supposed to represent a soldier ape, it's not supposed to be a general character. It's, in other words, a soldier ape's like pretty much like getting like a military figure. It's just like a military sergeant figure. It's not, it doesn't stand down the franchise. Uh, it's not like a real character. However, uh, it's cool to have, uh, and it's a good start, I think, if I were to get more Planet of the Apes figures. I don't know if I would. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, a pretty good non-Godzilla NECA figure. So that's all I have to say for this review, guys. I, as I said, I recommend you get it. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later, and bye bye